Hi, this is Dr. Ryan Saw. I'm a Gansu New York City chiropractor in Midtown Manhattan. In this video, we're going to talk about migraines. So, have you ever had a throbbing type of headache that seems to be worse on one side versus the other? Probably experienced some visual disturbances, some um, nausea, or a tight band around your head? The chances are you probably had a migraine headache, and approximately 20% of people had them. And if you're one of the sufferers, you know how debilitating it can be. So, and also for migraine sufferers, there are certain triggers that, that you know that can offset migraine headaches, such as certain foods, drinks, uh, stressful event, so maybe sleep, so on and so forth. Okay? So it's important to understand and differentiate from what triggers a migraine and what causes a migraine. So I'll have patients who tell me, and says, hey doc, this red wine I had last night, you know, it always sets off my migraine headaches. Therefore, red wine causes migraine headaches. Well, well, red wine, it's more of a trigger for migraine. Same deal such as uh, coffee or chocolate, so on and so forth. So if red wine truly is a trigger, I'm sorry, if red wine truly is a cause of a migraine, then every single person who ever had red wine would have a migraine, or coffee, or tea, so on and so forth. But we know that's not, you know, that's not true. So what really causes migraine headaches? Well, Harvard Medical School has their interesting theory on, on what causes migraine headaches. And this is three-step mechanism. The very first step is what I find very interesting. They say a misalignment in the upper part of your neck is what causes domino effect. So as a chiropractor, yeah, this, is, <laughs> this is what I find very intriguing and what I also find to be very true. So when the very first bone or second bone in the upper part of your neck, when that misaligns, what happens is it can start constricting the blood vessels in the upper part over here and also irritate the nearby nerves. Therefore, it's like a feeding, <coughs> like a feeding uh, feedback loop causing the blood vessels to constrict even more, reducing more blood supply to that certain area of the brain. The brain recognizes that there's less blood supply in that area. Therefore, the normal areas in our brain says like, hey, whoa, we, got more, we need to have more blood in here. So therefore, the normal blood vessels, they're being programmed and it says, okay, let's open it up and let's supply more blood, you know, more blood flow into those areas because we need the blood in that lower part of, you know, to that low blood supply area of the brain right now. So the blood vessels, they rapidly expand to shunt all that blood in there. So, but here's the problem. With that rapid emergency type of uh, expansion, that also, it irritates those nearby nerves. And that's what gives you that throbbing sensation of that type of headache. So, so once again, as for, uh, for migraine sufferers, yeah, it's important to understand what those migraines are. And you, know, you could do a lot of stuff to help avoid the triggers of it, but wouldn't it make a lot more sense? Let's address and let's correct the cause, right? So once again, Harvard Medical School says the very first couple bones in the upper part of your neck, that's, what, that's really what starts off all these migraine attacks. So as a chiropractor, this is my specialty, okay? This is my expertise. This is what I correct every single day, all day long. So here's what I want you to do next, okay? Please post this information on your timeline. You probably have some friends who have migraine headaches and you don't even know about it, okay? So when your friends, when they see this video, they'll get the information they need, okay? So once again, my name is Dr. Ryan Sa. I'm a Gansett chiropractor in Midtown Manhattan. Thank you. Have a good day.